this is should they be trusted reading? Um, if you have to ask, that is a no. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not even joking about that one. Um, but I, but I do feel like this, this will answer a lot of questions for people. Um, we have the key, the Uno cards, and we have the mica. I had to keep the mica in its own bag because it keeps flaking off every time I take it out and it's exposed to air. So yeah, this is mica. It's usually in makeup, so it's like a real shiny... It almost looks like fish scales, if I'm being quite honest. But it's like, it flakes off if I take it out because it's so, like, it's so fragile. Um, so, anyway. So, we have the key, the uno cards, and the mica. Pick whichever one resonates for you, and we will start the reading. There's only three cards in the reading, so it's not going to be, like, a long reading. It's going to be pretty short and sweet, okay? I just didn't want to take up anybody's day. Um, it could be a long day for some people. Um, anyway, let's get into the readings. Alright, let's go do the key first. Alright, so, what is this person's intentions? We have the, king, the Knight of Wands. Uh, Knight of Wands is action being taken, being taken, um, things getting done, a change of home, uh, fearless, fearlessness, something tangible, getting the job done, a go-getter, and an adventurer. So, it could just be, like, conquest. <laughs> Put that in it's just conquest. Um, yeah. If people were honest. Oh, it's just a conquest. I'm good. Bye. Um, but yeah. Anyway. So, we have number two. Should I trust this person? Uh, let's see. Judgment in reverse. Um, so, lack of self-awareness, a calling you don't ignore, doubt, loss of opportunity, um, self-loathing, something which wasn't meant to be, an outcome out of your control. So, no, this, no, this person's gonna hit it and quit it, like, they're, they're out. Um, and then the overall advice for the situation is world. So, positive results, travel around the world, um, Outcomes you want, end of cycle, completion. So, getting what you want actually has something to do um, with you moving overseas or traveling. Maybe you need to see the world a little bit. Maybe you need to experience a little bit more before you settle for, you know, scrubs. But, um, you know, I feel like since you have the key anyway, you're still kind of, you know, exploring. You're not really ready to, you know, settle down or be with one person or, like, have just one person. Um, so you, you might want to just see what people are about and find out what you want in a relationship and who, um, what qualities you want in a person, um, so that you can feel secure in a relationship. So, anyway, group one, yeah, hopefully this helps you out in some way, and I wouldn't trust this person that's kind of a hit, and, hit it and quit it person. They might say anything to, <coughs> you know, <coughs> I'm just in a cough, I'm not going to say anything. But, um, they might say anything to be in a relationship with you. Um, so, <laughs> so just be aware, um, if they're a little bit too oriented in something or another, um, or they're interested in you too fast, like, I would be a little bit worried about those type of relationships, because anybody who's eager to meet you is not going to be around for long, so just be aware. Um, so I will see you in the next reading, alright, group one? Bye now. Una. 
Alright, so, um, what is this person's intentions? We have the King of Cups in reverse. So, calculating coldness, unable to let go, manipulative, moodiness, devoted to a fault, bad advice, abuse of emotional intelligence. So, this person might want to be, like, the smartest person in, you know, the vicinity area, the room, whatever. And it's like, it, it gets exhausting trying to stroke this person's ego, so I just, just a heads up. Um, so should you trust this person? Mm. <coughs> I would say no. Um, so, Ace of Wands in Reverse. Being a thrill seeker, lack of passion, unable to finish, boredom, lack of energy, too much focus on sexual gratification. It's only the beginning, not the end. So this person might be obsessed or might want a relationship with you, but it depends on what you want. I'm not saying they're a bad person. I'm just saying that they might not know what you want um and this might be a barely new relationship so <coughs> once they get to know you you'll know all right so overall advice for a situation we have the sun in reverse so blind to the truth you overlook the negative in a situation negativity depression sadness you're naive you don't look for what could go wrong so, I feel like you might be kind of in a relationship for the sake of being in a relationship, or you might overlook certain flaws, certain red flags, certain things, and not really see what's really going on. So, not good vibes might be other things going on. So, this person might be a bit of a player, or they might have somebody that they're more dedicated to. They might be married. Um, yikes. But, um, like, I, I feel like this person might be a player because we do have all this stuff where they're not really committed to you. They're more like holding out their hand and, you know, just about sexual gratification. And, like, since, since the King of Cups is upside down, it's almost like he's pouring out his water and his passion. So, um... Yeah. You could have a lot of emotions. You might cry a lot. You might have a lot of um, regrets after this relationship or if you give in to this person. Um, because they'll hit it and quit it. Like that last one. Just hit it and quit it. Bye. Um, but just, you know, just be aware of that. Some people don't have the best intentions. Um, so, group two, I hope this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. And uh, gives you some type of, you know, of perception on what's going on in this person's mind that's trying to get with you. Um, so you don't make a mistake. I don't want you crying. I don't want you feeling bad. Okay? Anyway, I will see you in the next reading, alright? Bye now. Alright, now we have the mic group. It's a little flaky. Uh, it's a little bit flexible, too. Um, anyway. So, we have the first card, which is, what is this person's intentions? And we have the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is an exciting challenge, a change to show, <coughs> a chance to show skill, sportsmanship, rivalry, Opportunity to grow conflict. <coughs> Friendly competition. So, there might be a bit of a competition over your affections. Or, um, maybe you're just a really nice person and everybody wants you. And this person's like, I want this person because I love this person. And what's going on? And yeah, I'll show you that I'm like the best. But they probably don't know how to impress you though. So, they're going to try. 
to show that they're strong or whatever. Um, stuff like that. Mm -mm -mm. Should this person be trusted? We have the moon. So cycles that are welcome. Increase in intuition. Unconscious femininity. Um, illusions. All is not as bad as you think. So there might be a few secrets. But I feel like this is... This is secrets based on the fact that they're a big fan of yours. Or they like you a lot. And they're like your secret admirer. So they want to be like really charming, you know, really nice, really, like, everything that you want in a person they want to be, because they're your secret admirer, um, so, I, I feel like it's, like, they might be a little bit obsessed, but, um, I feel like they really want to be with you, um, so, take it as you want, but, um, yeah, they want, they want to be with you, but they know that you have other prospects or other people interested and they're kind of like I don't know who you want I hope it's me though you know that'd be awesome but um yeah, they're they're wishing upon it um so overall advice for this situation we have the six of wands in reverse so progress you do not welcome emotional baggage um change um, you didn't ask for unresolved issues, results, you do not appreciate resisting transition. So, there might be kind of like, you know, that you're not ready to have like a solid relationship. Um, and this person might be like, I want to get married tomorrow, like, you know, and you're like, oh, okay, wait, <laughs> like, oh my god, what? Like, they're, they're one of those people, the soulmate people. Could be your soulmate. They're just like, we need to go. <laughs> like, now. Um, we've waited too long. Um, but yeah, they're more of like the drawing type, if that makes sense. Um, they might be drawing conclusions, drawing pictures, drawing um, vision boards of you two together. Um, but they, they have it in their mind where it's like, it makes sense to them. To you, it's like, oh, stalker. But to them, it makes total 100% sense. Um, because soulmates and twin flames, they kind of get it. Um, like, there's a trigger that goes off where you're just like, ah, that's my person. But, um, yeah, sometimes it can freak you out because, like, the synchronicities or them knowing too much about you. It could be a little bit be bewildering, I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, there's sweetness behind it. There's like, oh, this person likes this, this, and this. You guys could be total opposites, but they understand, like, you like certain things, so they'll get certain things that you like to make you happy. But, um, with them, you kind of had to do the same for them, too. Um, which would be cute. So, drawing is your message. I don't know what it's for. It came through. It could be for somebody that likes to color or draw or, you know, it could be an artist. It could be an artist. I don't know why I got drawing if it's an artist. Usually I get, like, a music artist or something. But I got a drawing artist, so it could be interesting. Um, so, anyway. In group three, I hope this is, you know, your person that you've been thinking about or... Your secret admirer is really sweet. But I, I'm not sure. Like, this is such, like, puppy love energy. So I just want you to know that. And uh, if you break this person's heart, I feel like they will be feeling it for a long time. Okay? Um, so just be aware of that. Anyway, just be nice. Anyway, so, group three, I will see you in the next reading. Hopefully this helped you out in some way, shape, or form. Um, and I will see you then. Alright. Bye now.